Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about capacitors. Let's try that again. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about capacitors. What they are, how they work, the basic physics of it. Give you a better understanding of capacitors. So, first of all, we need to know the unit of capacitance. What is capacitance? Well, capacitance is a measure of charge, which we call Q, over voltage. That simple. So, now let's say, what is a capacitor? Well, basically, it is two parallel plates with an insulator. could be anything at all. Now, if we connect our capacitor up to a battery, what happens? Well, if we're talking about electron flow, then negatively charged electrons will flow in this direction and put a negative charge on this plate. That negative charge on this plate will repel electrons on this plate, creating a positive charge. So you see, the capacitor has charge divided by voltage. Now, one thing that you must be aware of is that no current flows across this gap. Regardless of what that Australian jerk says in his video, no current flows across the gap of a transistor. None. Zero. It doesn't happen. Let's look at a more realistic example here. Let's have our battery. Then we'll have a capacitor. And We'll have a switch, a resistor, and we'll put in an amp meter here. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we do need this to be a, a variable resistor. So what happens when we close the switch? We'll start with the variable resistor in the highest position. So it provides great resistance, keeping the current level. And as our capacitor charges, we will decrease the resistance, always keeping the current level. Well, what happens in that case is if we draw a graph here and plot time against voltage, this is our charge. It's a straight line. Because of that variable resistor, keeping the current the same the whole way through, the charge simply climbs straight up until the capacitor is completely charged. So if we try and look at this algebraically, our charge is our current times the time. Our capacitance that we said over here in the beginning is our charge divided by our voltage. So our charge is equal to voltage times capacitance. Does that make sense to you guys? I hope so. Now that we understand that, let's talk about capacitors in parallel. So if we have this circuit here, call this V, 
C1 and C2 our VC total is equal to VC1 plus VC2. Does that make sense? So our capacitance total is equal to C1 plus C2. So in parallel, the capacitors are additive. Okay, pretty simple. In parallel, so we're going to have to do serial. So pretty simple. There's our battery. There's our capacitors. C1, C2, and V. Now, according to Kirchhoff's law, well, let's call this a uh, voltage here. If we were to if we were to put in a meter and measure these voltages, call that voltage one and voltage two. So according to Kirchhoff's law, we know that V total must equal V1 plus V2. And like we stated up here, we know that V equals charge divided by capacitance. So our charge total, capacitance total, is equal to the charge of C1 plus the charge of C2, and therefore 1 over C total equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, let me know in the description and I'll try and get more into it. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is the charge stored in the capacitor. So remember this little drawing up here. Let's do it again. Time, voltage, charge. So if at any point we want to know the charge of the capacitor at any time point, any voltage point, it is this area right here. And what is that area? Well, it's a triangle. And what's the formula for the area of a triangle? No, it's half base times height. So the energy that is stored in our capacitor equals half C V squared. Boom. That's all there is to it. It's really that simple to understand the math and the physics of capacitors. Now, granted, you can spend semesters in college and grad school trying to grasp everything there is to know about capacitors. But this is the basics. This will help you out. Remember, no current flows between the plates of a capacitor. And the energy of the capacitor is this simple formula. Half the capacitance times the voltage squared. That's the basics. Whew. And now it's Sunday and it's time for the Steelers to play the Jaguars in the division final. So I got to go. You guys be good. That's it. I'm out. Peace.